strippers and comedians. Again, it's this way of separating out. There's this rawness to him being high. They just had this experience in this hospital. And uh, 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 it, and again, the hospital is somehow also, you, you think about death, you think about the afterlife, you think about so many things in the context of hospital. You also think about just what's happening right now, the, the infinite misery and sadness of all the patients in some cases. But, so he takes that to the limit, and then you're in, then you're back down to reality with the movie theater. But then he, he a few paragraphs later, he says, or that might have been another time. So suddenly that whole story is like wiped out, yeah. but we're still in the story. <laughs> like it's yeah. still him driving around with this guy, but like all reality is distorted. It's almost like he, at least in those first initial stories in Jesus' Son, reality is just sort of suggestion while he's moving through his story. And that brings us to the biggest distinction in writing. Strippers and comedians. You, what, what do you got on stage? You got strippers. Strippers raise the tension. They raise the tension. They raise the tension. And just at that moment when something bad is going to happen, you bring on a comedian. And comedians cut the tension. And they make you laugh and they make you laugh. And they kind of give you that symbolic, huge orgasmic relief of laughing. And then they bring out another stripper. And so it's that constant sort of heightening of the dramatic stakes and then cutting of the drama and then raising the drama to a greater level and then cutting the drama. And that's something wonderful to do in fiction. That is so much fun. So, so what do you think he's doing there with the, or that might've been another time. And now they're kind of in the, the spring driving around and instead of the winter, like what's, what's, it allows, what's happening there? It allows him to come to the sublime multiple times. It allows for multiple orgasms. It allows him to broach sentimentality for that wonderful length of time, but not for too long, not for a Thomas Kincaid painter of light long. And he allows himself to cut it at like the very moment. Very fast. Yeah. Or that, or like it's just that one line, or that right. might be another time. He doesn't address it any further, and he goes into the next part of the story. And, and then he allows us to ramp up to an, another sublime moment before he cuts it. And so the idea is to bring the reader up in these kind of graduated ways, but not too quickly and not for too an long, an extended length of time. And I would argue that, that he knows on an intuitive level that our brain chemistry will not allow for the sustained sustainment of schmaltz, that schmaltz has got to be cut before it can be achieved on a greater level. I'm so happy that this favorite resource of mine is a sponsor of this podcast. If you've been a listener of the podcast, then you already know that I love Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is the quickest, easiest, and most complete superfood supplement out there. So just jump on over to athleticgreens.com slash James and claim your special offer today. Don't miss this. 